back on the road again, May 1st. Uh, so they've loosened up some restrictions and hopefully I can uh, make it all the way up to Michigan. Uh, been confined for uh, two months in the house, ready to do something. Uh, our, unfortunately, our Alaskan cruise got canceled this month. So I take advantage of it to uh, the time and uh, impose upon some friends and uh, relatives uh, camp out uh, better than sitting at home. Uh, I can't wait to sit out in the woods and quarantine uh, so uh, anyway, May 1st, headed out. i uh, going to spend a couple couple days at my folks' place in uh, Tennessee and then head on up to uh, Michigan. Uh, I think uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Indiana, and Michigan have ease some of the restrictions, so I should be able to travel freely. Uh, I came prepared. I've got my uh, disinfectant wipes, disinfectant wipes, uh, my gloves, hand sanitizer, mask, face mask. So hopefully the only contact will be with uh, somebody at a gas station or something. I, I don't foresee that happening. Stock the uh, airstream up with some food, so we're uh, going to spend the night in the Walmart parking lot on the way up. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully, uh, see some uh, friends, relatives, and, and uh, old neighbors up in Michigan. Uh, uh, want to see some of Charmaine's family, uh, Dennis and Sheila, Doug and Kara, maybe. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, see some friends, Dick and Lynn, uh, Josh. See my brothers, Keith. I'll be spending a lot of time at Keith's place and then over to Steve's place. Uh, do some fishing, so that should be fun. Then down to Jeremy and April's, uh, and see Luke and James. And then hopefully, uh, if things are still getting better, uh, we'll go over to Cedar Point and see how that goes. Stay tuned, we'll see how things go. Uh, hopefully, everything will work out and everything will be fine. So, talk to you later. Well, made it to my folks' place here in Tennessee. Not too bad a ride. Uh, stopped once for, for diesel. Dollar 71 a gallon. Tremendous. Uh, no problems on the road. Very light traffic. Just enjoying the weekend here with my uh, mom and dad. Start to head up to Michigan on Monday. Just beautiful sitting here by the creek. They're both doing fine. Of course, they've been staying in the house and feeding the birds. And the Dad's got his hummingbird feeder out there starting to come in. Everything's uh, green and bloomed out. Mom's got her garden started. Uh, feeding me like crazy naturally. Watched her make biscuits again, so hopefully I can re replicate that when I'm home. <laughs> Tried the other day and they turned out like corn dodgers. But beautiful uh, scenery and just enjoying life. Hope, hope everybody's safe and uh, stay tuned. We'll see what's going on with the rest of the trip. Well, good morning. Uh, Left my folks' place this morning, uh, a day late. Uh, still getting some weather. We had some really powerful thunderstorms. I don't know if there was a tornado or not. But, uh, beautiful scenery. But uh, knocked the power out uh, yesterday, so I just stuck around for an extra day. Ran the generator. I got the power back up, or back running, but uh, Thunderstorm came through that night, and it was just like a, a big light show. I never saw so much lightning. And finally, the power went out again, flash. So hopefully, they can get it restored again today. Called called the power company, and they said it was out all over the county. So 
backed up and on the way to Keese. Figure out, I'm trying to hit about uh, Kokomo, Indiana today. 8.4 miles. Turn left on Highway 13. About halfway point, 400 and some 450 miles. So we'll see how we do on that. It's, uh, it's about uh, 10 minutes to nine. Just got going here a little bit ago. I saw a bunch of pickup Turn trucks flying around, county county pickup trucks. So they, I'm sure they're working on getting the electric back going. So, should be an enjoyable drive today weather cooperates. Stay tuned. See how it goes. Hardly anybody on the road. Well, here's a view of the uh, traffic. Let's see, uh, eastbound on Interstate 40 coming into Nashville. There's quite a bit of traffic coming out of Nashville. It's fairly light going in. A new routine, getting gas. I have my credit card ready. Have a disinfectant wipe ready. Have a napkin ready. Wiped down the credit card real good. First thing I did was wipe the wrong handle. Got the, got the diesel handle going now though. Okay, okay. And then, coat of hand sanitizer. Not bad, under 50 bucks for 23 gallons of diesel. Still a little high. I was hoping the Kroger had a diesel pump, but they didn't. But, uh, 213 is not too bad for uh, Kentucky. Well, on with the trip. Well, good morning. Made it to Michigan. Uh, spent last night in Kokomo, Indiana, in Walmart parking lot. Not too bad. Got up. Uh, Four o'clock and headed out. And this is the view. Wish I wish I had the camera going a minute ago. I just about hit a, a dome. Came running across the roadway. <laughs> Truck and camper don't don't stop that on a dime. So but she managed to get through. So both of us are happy about that. Um, yeah, my brother's uh, soon, according to the GPS, is about 10 o'clock. It's at 6, 6.30 in the morning now. So, a little, a little ways to go. Trip hasn't been bad, though. Can't, can't beat the diesel prices. I ended up paying two fifty nine in Kokomo, which is the highest one I've seen. I should wait a little bit right down the road. It's two twenty, two twenty. So. I think that's about what it's going to be here in Michigan. So, all in all, been a been an uneventful trip, uh, except for this half of the year. This guy. So, stick around. I'll show you my brother's place when I get there. Well, springtime in Michigan. <laughs> Got up this morning and uh, that's some uh, snow on the ground, not much. It's a little brisk day though. I think the high is supposed to only be uh, in the mid 40s. But I'm here. We made it.
see if we can find some mushrooms today. Maybe go out and uh, see if find some morels. If it warms up a little bit. <laughs> See you later.